yeah welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can change your boot menu on uh, hp before you switch the system on look at the keyboard you will see f10 on the keyboard as you can see here as you power the system on just keep striking the f10 button so if you keep striking the f10 button it will bring you to a page like this which is the uh, BIOS BIOS menu. So what you have to do, the BIOS menu of every HP laptop differs from each other. So you just uh, use the arrow key on your keyboard to swing from or swipe from one place to another on the keyboard. So you go to advance. Once you get to advance, go to boot option. Once you click on boot option, press enter and go to um, legacy boot order we have two type of boot order we have the legacy and the uefi so this is legacy if you want to uncheck the uh UEFI legacy mode you can actually uncheck it here so as you can see here this is only legacy here so for us to enable the uefi mode let's press escape on our keyboard uh, and let's go back to secure boot configuration click on this secure boot configuration and you can see here configure legacy support and secure boot click on it and can you see we have three options here legacy support disable and secure boot enabled so let's enable the secure boot so let's click on uh, legacy disable and enable secure secure boot enable so once we click on it and let's go back to what's it called again let's press escape on our keyboard and go back to boot options once we get to boot options so once you come back here to the advanced and you click on the boot option you are going to get you can you see now the efi boot is enabled and the legacy boot order is okay so you can actually boot it through both uefi and legacy so let's try this by inserting the, um, our boot flash disk let's see if it is actually going to boot because this is uefi flash drive for windows 10 let's see if it is going to boot on windows 10 uefi i'm going to plug the usb and i'm going to restart the system once i restart i press f9 once i press f9 it's going to take me to this boot menu can you see now uefi is on this uh, cruiser blade then i can actually select any of these and boot with it and it's going to answer so let's check another system which is actually hp this is hp 840 g2 and let's check the boot menu how to change from uefi to legacy uh on it also so like before let's click on um, as we run it we press f10 to go to the boot menu so you keep pressing the f10 it's going to take you to a page like this can you see now this is under uh, bios so you go to the advanced option you go to boot option once you click on boot option you go down you see uh, this is the boot mode here this one is different from others we have the legacy here we have the ufi hybrid we have the ufi native without cms and with cms and this is the options for the ufi boot order or legacy boot order so you can actually change it from legacy here if you want to change just press enter and swipe with your what's it called with your arrow up and down key so this is legacy this is ufi and this is ufi native so if you want the boot to put on ufi and legacy you can actually choose ufi hybrid for both so and that is where it is so that's how you are going to do the settings and once you are done don't forget just press um f10 to save all your changes if you don't press f10 it won't save so press f10 to save your changes and that's all thanks for watching 
So this is how to change from uh, the boot menu of your laptop from legacy to UEFI also on this HP 15. So once you press the power button, just start clicking on F10. Keep clicking on F10. So this is how the BIOS is going to look like. Just use your arrow uh, side button on the keyboard to switch the tab from from left to right and when you get to system configuration you see boot menu down here just click on uh, press the arrow down button to go to the boot options click on the boot option and you see UEFI and legacy so where you see legacy support here click enter and switch and disable it so once you disable it once you disable it you press yes and go to uh, secure boot and enable can't you see now this is only uh uefi boot enabled so you can switch from there and once you are done just press f10 to and press enter to save the settings and you see that your system is going to boot.